Hello guys, what's going on? So this is Robo Question again and in this episode I'm gonna talk about Ubuntu and Arch Linux. So you might have seen my previous vlog uh, which is kindly here. So maybe you have seen my previous vlog if you didn't check please go ahead and check out. So I've installed Ubuntu and also an Arch Linux. Now due to frustration of Arch Linux now yesterday I was updating Arch Linux and the problem was there is nothing problem as I mentioned earlier there is nothing problem with Arch Linux the problem is with the package yeah, now if you are using a little amount of packages you don't have a, a very much large packages so Arch Linux is fine but as soon as I install so many packages from AUR every package kind of build from scratch so updating takes like uh, four hours or three hours not for downloading just to build packages so i installed ubuntu because there are pre-built library for each and every software and update takes like five minutes so install ubuntu now i will show you uh tweaks i have done for my ubuntu now the tweaks are for sound and nvidia drivers so let's switch to it now if you guys can see I have installed Arch Linux here uh, that 64 GB uh, it is an Arch Linux now I haven't uninstalled it because after all it's my favorite OS so I haven't uninstalled Arch Linux now if you can see here I have installed Windows so my Windows is in first partition so that it can boot faster then Arch then I install Ubuntu in the last partition just to check if it uh, fits my need so here it is so my biggest problem was update as I was uh, using so much packages update takes longer and longer in Arch because each and every like EUR packages uh, build from scratch so here it is now update takes like five minutes it's updating and it's done now if I have to install update now for the quick reference I have installed uh, it, it's my customization pulse audio equalizer now if you are on 17.10 uh, Ubuntu 17.10 which is artful so there is a problem if you install a pulse audio equalizer from repository it will have 1.10 i think uh, version so what i did i downloaded it from launchpad so what you have to do is you have to go to i might use screencast but as i mentioned earlier there is a problem with screencast so you have to just type launchpad oops launchpad pulse audio equalizer and here it is I have bookmarked it so if you guys know there is a PPA which is famous uh, web I don't know the full name so you have to go to first link which is here series zesty and download this dev package all dev package and just double click it and it will install and then what you have to do you have to go to pulse uh, yeah here it is oops it got you have to type equalizer yeah so there it is equalizer so here it is equalizer if you can uh, see so if you can see there are lots of uh, things i can do uh, presets here uh, it got black here maybe okay so there are some pre-built equalizers but i love soft so it's here soft and uh, soft rock is based but uh, still soft soft and what you have to do you have to go to nano and uh, pause this video and check this file you have to go to there and you have to comment a file okay I think it should work fine but as you can see there is a uh, two files here so you have to just delete this one and it will work fine if if your module don't work fine so it's what it is 
and as you can see there are some equalizer files so just control x so it is uh, the configuration what i have to do now you have to go to settings uh, settings and then go to sound and you have to select this large spa plugin and your sound will like great the default ubuntu sound is not quite that great but after installing this pulse audio equalizer it will superb so you have to add that ppa i will show that ppa uh, that launchpad ppa you have to install for non 17.10 users uh, i think yeah it's yeah, it's a very famous ppa you have to just download now i have installed android studio ppa and the cuda ppa it's a 1704 ppa but still it's work on 17.10 and it's uh, another ppa i don't know why i had okay it's an ubuntu make now ubuntu make it's a uh, very good software from ubuntu guys so if you are uh, so if you want to just uh, get things done so it's here if you install the if you want to install kotlin in you are a kotlin programmer you have to just do if you make kotlin and and all the files for kotlin softwares and everything will be done for you by one tool and another thing another thing i have to show is that drivers so if you are a machine learning developer if you want to use ubuntu for machine learning and you are an nvidia guy so what you have to do is you have to first of all add cuda repository in your uh, ubuntu so you might have seen a very much tutorial on so here we have updates install now and there it is without any source compilation it's updating fine i have to just minimize it yeah and here okay now you have to install a cuda repository i mean ppa in your ubuntu there might be very much famous tutorials on how to install CUDA repository I mean PPA in Ubuntu so do that and if you want to use uh, TensorFlow GPU then you have to install CUDA 9-0 now CUDA if you just type CUDA it will install CUDA 9.1 and it will not work in your PC and you will go to figure out so I figure out you have to install dash 9 dash 0 okay and then it will install NVIDIA 390 driver so if you go to additional driver and it will show that so as you can see 390 now after that you have to install Bumblebee now if you are uh, integrated graphic card like i have i have intel and nvidia both graphic cards so what i have to do install bumblebee and nvidia and whatever you type if you type uh, bumblebee only it will find then you have to install apt get install bb switch i think it will automatically install now what you have to do go to terminal and then you have to type sudo so I think yeah mod probe and then at the bottom of your file you pause this video and you have to type these things and this one here if you want to if you want this then I will make this in the description so what it does default bumblebee will remove the nvidia driver using mod prob dash r now this this thing don't work i don't know why it was not but not working so you have to use this rem when remove nvidia will 
initiate this uh, when remove nvidia will take place this command will be happened so we are customizingly removing nvidia drivers and then bb switch will turn off nvidia so if you want to know what i mean is let's check it if i go to i will open up two terminal now go to desktop okay now here watch now as you can see my drivers are currently disabled okay so now i will turn on oops okay so might have seen some problem i have to reboot the system sometimes it just doesn't work now if you can see it just on so i have wrote on a script which will be disable my driver and it just off right it requires sudo but uh, previously i have used a sudo so it just doesn't require so i have to reboot my system uh, once again so let's reboot it now we have reboot our system so here it is and please come up baby okay done. now i will go to terminal i will open up two terminal one for watching the flag and another for script so let's make it side by side and one is for script and another one is for watch now they run so if you have installed bumblebee optimize the command oops again it's not working i don't know why it's not exist i think i might have some problem here okay so it's loaded nvidia mod set but uh, optiron couldn't find it okay let's see what's happened okay i might have a problem here this thing has to be like 320 and then sudo system cdr it's running and then restart status and then again run opti run oops it doesn't exist so these are some tweaks which i have i i have done and ubuntu make is uh, nice and another thing i have done is that the top icons now if you can see there is a, a th th there are some bottom at the bottom there are some icons which are now top so i have installed top icon gnome extension so these are the tweaks which i have done in ubuntu so you might have now theming as uh, as we go and theming now ambience and this humidity themes are my best and i love this theme so that i haven't changed my theme and soon these tutorials are coming for sentiment analysis like you can identify uh, whatever you want in your ai system now you have seen that there is something goes wrong i will figure it out and if I figure out in while I editing this video, I will put it in backside. So I am not sure I will figure out or not, but it will work soon. So maybe. So thank you for watching. And if you guys want more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comment section. See you in the next one. Okay, so I figured it out while I was working. So as you can see, there is a GPU zero is working. So uh, you have to keep notice at this thing so it is now turned off now as i run this it will turn on my drivers are turned on and automatically turn off so this thing has to be like uh, you have to do some tweaks so i will show here what you have to do is you have to uh, you have to blacklist your drivers here like this 
and you have to add this line here i will put it in the description and it will work so why it's not it was not working because i think bumblebee was not recognizing this thing so when the drm i will show so when the drm is loaded when the drm loads the the bumblebee automatically load drm now drm is like uh, when you are using your nvidia drivers for like this thing when you are when, when you remove your, when you are moving your around your windows so then nvidia do some tricks and give you some better experience but we don't need this due to some power saving we are on a laptop so that why and the D we don't require drm so what does what and bumblebee does nvidia drm will turn on and it will just turn on and it will never turn off so you have to blacklist this thing like 390 drm now in upper version it doesn't require because they have another things so and then you have to add this because the default bumblebee uses mode prop dash r thing so the dash r will never remove this drivers i don't know why but doesn't work so when uh, bumblebee remove nvidia the this line will be executed and it will remove uh, nvidia drivers from working and then bb switch will turn it off so it will turn off automatically so you don't have to use the, this script here uh, i have wrote on a script here if you can see yeah it's just a simple script to turn it off if you want to know that script please let me know in the comment section so if you want to know which extension is loaded here for uh, this bottom icons are now show up here so this is the top icon but some i think there is a omg ubuntu blog that says that top icon developer has uh, deprecated this thing i don't know why but it was the best thing and there are some pretty much amazing extension here for gnome but after all it will slow down your gnome i did in i did it in arch linux and after removing that things also didn't work so i just keep it away from my gnome uh, that clipboard indicator is very much fine so when you are using uh, when you are a programmer and you want to use uh, so many copy and paste and sometimes you have to you want some history copies so it's a clipboard it is which is a fantastic plugin but uh, so it's just a preview for how it works i just rebooted my system and it just works